Hi guys, so welcome back. As you know, the announcement came out, it's right here. The GameStop wallet is going to be shutting down. And uh, it says, due to regulatory uncertainty in the crypto space, GameStop has decided to remove its iOS and Chrome extension wallets from the market on November 1st, 2023. We advise that all customers ensure that they have access to their secret passphrase by October 1st, 2023. And um, any customer with access to their secret passphrase has the ability to recover their account in any compatible um, wallet so they can recover their account there. Now, some people have put out already that if you're going to do a MetaMask, you can import your whole wallet. If you're gonna do the Loop Ring wallet, then you have to do one NFT at a time. Does it mean the marketplace can be shut down? No, that hasn't been announced. It says marketplace is still up and running. Just at this time, you know, the wallet's gonna get shut down. And so I will, I will tell it to you like this. The crypto exchange wallet that GameStop had, had numerous partners, you know, on-ramping and off-ramping crypto funds. And some people would even tell you that the world of NFTs can be manipulated like crypto can for every transaction that happens. You just don't know where the money's going and how you're actually going to be taxed on it. Uh, I think that it's a regulatory issue and that the, the U.S. government, per se, is probably putting the clamps on cryptocurrency and the transactions and how they happen. It's no different than Zelle, than um, other way PayPal and other ways that they transfer money. Uh, this could be something that they're looking into. Let them figure it out on their own. Remember, we are extremely early. This does not deter me from my investment in GameStop. If this is going to change the narrative that GameStop's a terrible company or was wasted money or however they want to call it, I'm just going to tell you trial and error is out here, and you have to do this. You know, I look at iTunes and I look at Apple, the way they had to go about becoming what they are today. You know, and there was plenty of loopholes and things they had to jump through just to get things passed and done, but it's no different here today, obviously. Is it going to change me? No. I bought more GameStop just a little while ago, and I'll keep buying more every single day. I think the company's great. I love the leadership. But yes, is this a chink in the armor? Is this where I'm supposed to be like, oh my God, we're falling to pieces? No, it doesn't work that way for me. I love this company. I think they're making the right decisions the whole way through. This is probably the best decision for you, and obviously for them, and maybe if they're getting the clamps from, uh, from outside regulatory forms. But I will tell you this too. Players still in the game. And if players still there, that's going to be another avenue of revenue that can come to GameStop, and GameStop's business model works. So they make money at the tilt, they make money online, they make money with player, hopefully we'll see how it all pans out. But I'm extremely excited for this company. This does not tear me down whatsoever. I'll be here again tomorrow, and I'll keep buying more. That's just it. But enjoy the news, even if it's bad news, you still gotta take it, you still gotta run at it, don't run from it. GameStop, can't stop, won't stop, GameStop. I'm still buying more, millionaires. Peace.